Hypnosis Hypnosis is a psychological state of focused attention and heightened suggestibility. It is a trance-like state where an individual becomes more open to suggestions and is highly responsive to the guidance and instructions of a hypnotist. The word hypnosis comes from the Greek word hypnos, meaning sleep, although it is important to note that hypnosis is not sleep but a state of deep relaxation and concentration. Hypnosis can be used for various purposes, such as therapy, entertainment, or self-improvement. In therapeutic settings, it is often used to address issues like anxiety, phobias, smoking cessation, weight loss, and pain management. During a hypnosis session, a person is guided into a relaxed state, and the hypnotist may use specific language patterns and suggestions to influence their thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Here are a few examples to illustrate the use of hypnosis. 1. Hypnosis for smoking cessation. Hypnotist. As you relax deeply, imagine your lungs becoming clean and healthy. Visualize yourself as a non-smoker, feeling proud and in control. From now on, you will find the smell of cigarettes unpleasant, and your desire to smoke will fade away. 2. Hypnosis for Anxiety Reduction Hypnotist Take a deep breath and let go of all tension. Imagine yourself in a peaceful place, surrounded by tranquility. Feel a sense of calmness washing over you, and know that you are safe and in control. From this moment forward, you will feel more relaxed and confident in every situation. 3. Hypnosis for Weight Loss Hypnotist. Imagine a new version of yourself, healthy and vibrant. See yourself making healthier food choices and enjoying exercise. Your mind will naturally guide you to eat only when you are truly hungry, and you will feel satisfied with smaller portions. You are becoming the best version of yourself. It is important to note that while hypnosis can be effective for many individuals, its effectiveness may vary from person to person. It is a collaborative process between the hypnotist and the individual, and the person being hypnotized must be willing and open to the experience for it to have the desired effects.